Okay, welcome to another episode of Four Strokes Adventure. Today we'll be working on changing a wheel bearing for 2010 Mazda 10. So let me just flip the camera around so you can be able to see what we're working with. It's uh, most likely it is um, a right, sorry, a right front bearing. So today we'll be working on the Mazda 2010. We'll be changing the right front bearing and this is uh, the, the press out kind. So you'll need a press and I'll take you, I'll show you what a press will look like. If I could be able to get to it. So this is what you will need right over here. So you'll We'll pull out the bearing and after that we'll squeeze it out we'll push out uh, the bearing put a new bearing in and after we put it back so it's about one hour job okay so what we'll do is we'll first we'll take off the tire we have the tire with uh, the wheel key and uh, in this particular case not only are we replacing the wheel bearing we'll also uh, replace uh, the lower control arm because there's a bit of a play in it so so we're replacing the control arm as well so right here we have a bit of a movement so, so we move the tire so we're gonna have to replace the whole control arm some ball joints has come separately but this one is actually one with the whole control arm okay so what you need to do is we need to actually first thing we need to do if we want to do the bearing is we have to replace I uh, pull out uh, the brake pad uh, brake caliper so pull out the great brake caliper and so you'll have two bolts underneath here so one one right there one above pull that one out there's two bolts over here and that holds the brake caliper so remove the brake caliper remove the rotor then after that, we're gonna, in this case, we're gonna remove the ball joint. So we're gonna take this ball out, remove the ball joint, and we'll remove the whole control arm. Remove the whole control arm in this case because we're replacing it. But if you were to do just the bearing itself, you just need to loosen this and pull this off to the side. Okay, so that's our next step. So remove caliper, remove rotor, take this up tie this up put over the side and after then we'll be able to pull work on the actual bearing itself you'll also notice that the bearing has you'll notice that the bearing also has a connection this is basically uh, your ABS sensor oh sorry no, your wheel speed sensor so this is your wheel speed sensor so you need to unplug this as well Okay, so right now we're heating up the torch and we actually have separated our, our spindle so this is our spindle right here so what we need to do is we need to heat this up and we, that is a collar there that collar is part of the old bearing and we're gonna push that out using a pneumatic, pneumatic gun and we're doing is we're cutting a little piece out of it just making it easy for us to be able to use a pneumatic gun to be able to push it out. Now the other part, the actual hub, is here. So right here we have our hub, we have our hub, uh, the, sp the spindle, this is the bearing part, and so it's this part here that has to come out, and we need to set it up on here, on this device, and that will build, we'll push it, be able to push it out, so we'll pump it, and after we'll separate it out, and that'll be able to put the bearing in. So that's the Mazda there that we're working on. Okay, so this is what it should look right now. 
the, the actual hub and spindle is off so we took off all the we took off the caliper we took off the rotor uh, right now we just have our cv axle our caliper right here we took out our also you're taking out um a hub you also have to take out the outer outer tie rod so the outer tie rod right there and on the ground we'll take a look we have our lower control arm in this particular case the vehicle in there you, you normally um, put the old control arm back just leave it on top of the vehicle but in this case the reason why we're taking out the control arm is because our ball joint right now is very loose so since we're actually doing since we're doing uh, the wheel bearing you might as well the pressing wheel bearing we might as well actually change the ball joint and in this case this is not the single unit by itself it's actually the entire control arm you have to buy the control arm completely and then of course our our bracket on the side our, our brake bracket and i think we're going to show you the next steps we're actually going to press in our bearing which is the hardest part because you might not have a press you might have to go to somebody you know uh, that has a press and press it in and after that then you can be able to start buttoning it up and put everything together again You hear that pop that's the bearing mm -hmm. needs to be readjusted and do it one more time. 